I was quite looking forward to the Apple Dumpling Gang rides again because the first film wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, I didn't really care for this. There are some really good performances and there are some good shots. It's relatively well filmed, but I found the narrative to be really, really boring. And I like westerns. I like films like this, particularly when we have a, a comedy angle to the western. But for me, it just didn't appeal. This is a Disney film from 1979. It's directed by Vincent McKevity and it's written by uh, Don Tate, based on the characters by Jack M. Bickham and stars, of course, Tim Conway as Amos and Don Knotts as Theodore. And they are involved in various things that don't go according to plan and they end up going on the run and getting entangled in different sticky situations and they have to try and get out of it. There's a little bit more to it than that, but to be honest, I felt like the narrative was all over the place and I didn't really care about any of it. I didn't find any of it to be that entertaining. I didn't find anything about the narrative to be funny. The performances, yes, I'll talk about that in a moment. But the actual narrative, I just I found it to be really dull. There were some good shots. There was a little bit of physical comedy that I liked. I'm not a fan of physical comedy in general. It's just not my style. But actually, there were some bits here that I thought worked quite well. But in general, I can't say that I enjoyed the story. I just didn't find it fascinating. I didn't really care about what happened one scene to the next. And I can't say that I cared about the overall narrative either. It might appeal more to other people. Just for information, it's got 6 out of 10 on IMDb across 3.2 thousand reviews and ratings. It's not an amazing score, but it's not terrible. Anything kind of 6 and above is average or better, but I feel like it's definitely not as good as the first film. And it's not even so much that I'm trying to make it live up to the expectations the first film set, because I know sequels are very rarely as good. I just didn't find the narrative to be compelling at all. The characters, however, yes. I thought the performances were really great. The performances were quite engaging and meant that I could watch the film. Obviously, if the performances weren't that good and the narrative is as I've experienced it, it wouldn't have been an enjoyable film at all. But as I said, there were bits of the performances that I could enjoy, little bits of physical comedy here and there that I thought were okay. So I can't say that I hated it, but I can't say it's a good film either. I'd love to know what other people think of it. I haven't actually read any reviews. Sometimes I do before I discuss a film. Sometimes I, I don't, and, and this is one of those occasions. So I don't know how other people have responded to it, but I can say that I didn't think it was anywhere near as good as the first film, and also I didn't care for the narrative. It's not just the fact that it's a sequel and therefore unlikely to be as good. I found the narrative to be too, too scattered, too chaotic, and the events are not that interesting. And thankfully, we have some likeable characters and some good performances to make it a watchable film. It's definitely worth checking out if you've seen the first film because you might enjoy it more than I did. And I think if that's the case, that's that's brilliant. I hope people do like it more than I did. But I can't say that I enjoyed it. And while I might watch the first film again at some point, I won't be watching the Apple Dumpling Gang rides again, again. <laughs>